So about seven, seven or eight months ago, the decision was made to take the Axiom TV team and combine it with uh, resources and services dedicated to TV at LiveRam. And what that means is we took the uh, deep relationships we have with the programmers and the MVPDs, and part of that hosting their subscri subscriber files in Safehaven, and we combined that capability with the 500 integrations that LiveRamp brings to the table in the digital and mobile space. In addition, we, we combined the data that existed for segmentation and targeting at Axiom, like Infobase or Personics or over a thousand uh, advanced propensity models with Datastore, which is a mark for hundreds of third-party syndicated data sets and measurement providers. In addition to that, both companies have access to a number of CRM files that they work with brands, consumer marketing companies, and probably the biggest impact is the ability to bring, to enable those CRM files to be used for advanced advertising, television advertising. So all of those are um, under the umbrella of identity link for television. So what is the utility to that? And how do you expect sort of the, um, it to roll out, to be adopted, to be sold into the industry, and who are the customers, and what's the, what's the base, what, you know, what's the sort of the, the market for that product? Sure. So I think there's, there's several, several value propositions for TV. One is now you're not dealing with um, two separate identity graphs in the digital space and in the TV space. Now you have one seamless graph. So in a nod to multi-platform campaigns, which we feel is the future, you're going to be able to take one segment and define it, a targeting segment, of people you would want to reach with your television advertising. And it could be defined with Axiom data or data store syndicated data sets or maybe the CRM file from the brand advertiser. And we can distribute that to any destination, mobile, digital, or television. The customers for this could be TV networks. It could be offering these services to their advertisers. It could be MVPDs, traditional pay TV operators like cable companies or satellites or telcos. Or in some cases, we're enabling data that could be sold directly to the brands for a campaign. It just seems like there's a lot of conversation about first party data, yeah. uh, the value of it, and um, uh, how it's sort of playing a part of uh, TV decisioning. Well, heretofore it's been hard to use it. You know, it's like who has the data, who has access to it, how do I get it over here to my platform where I want to buy advertising? And safely. It's been, it's safely and securely in a privacy compliant manner. And so it's been an obstacle, and it has taken the easy out of television. And so what, what LiveRamp TV pretends to do is to make it easy again. Now we have over 500 of the biggest consumer marketing brands. We have access to their CRM file, their, their customer database. So in the event they want to use that for advertising, we can easily get it from point A to point B so that you can execute on it. Cool. And finally, uh, some thoughts from the conference. Uh, this uh, tremendous effort, big turnout. Uh, well, I love the, to the focus on TV, right? We had Allison Metcalf, the GM of the TV business, open the commencement. Uh, we had a sizzle reel with a lot of the names you would probably recognize um, from Viacom, from Data Plus Math, and other other TV people. And then just the the attendees here. We have probably representatives from every major net, every major network, every major MVPD, and, and many of these first. TV platforms, TV first platforms. Why are they here? Because they are interested in a multi-platform, multi-platform attribution world, I think, and they see it as part of the future, using data sets other than Nielsen age sex demos in order to optimize television buying and selling.